Y hablando de tecnología de futuro y de cosas súper interesantes, vamos a hablar con Mo Durant, el eh, vocero de Toyota, quien nos va a hablar de este nuevo prototipo, el Toyota FT1, que se ha presentado aquí en Detroit y ha causado verdaderamente un estruendo. Así que vamos a escuchar a Mo Durant de Toyota. So Mo Durant here at the Detroit Auto Show and uh, Toyota is still in the show with uh, with this concept. Huh? Yeah, we've been here all day with the FT1 concept. It's uh, I guess our, our our symbol, our design symbol of of where Toyota design is going to be headed in the next few years. It's a kind of a breathtaking coupe with a lot of curves, a lot of great lines on it, and a very very uh, sporty demeanor. Yeah. And uh, a lot of fans of Toyota uh, have been asking for these cars, these kind of cars to come back, right? Because you haven't done it for a while, like 98, something like that? 1998 was the last time we sold Supra in the United States. We've got quite a bit of demand or, or inquiry about this being Supra. It's, I'm not going to comment on whether or not this is the next Supra. This, this car, this design, this FT1 design draws on a lot and pretty much all of Toyota's coupe history, which goes back to 2000 GT, yeah. Celicas in the 70s, Supra, whatnot. So we really just wanted to develop the ultimate Toyota sports car design. So the, the, the name Future Toyota and the hyphen one, as in one is an ultimate. Okay, yeah. I believe at the LA Auto Show, I saw one of the GTs uh, coming out, like the old ones. Like what They had the, the, that exhibit out there, and that brought a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we occasionally bring out our 2000 GTs. We have a few at our museum in Torrance, yeah. and uh, they, everywhere they go, they still get a draw. That was a real high watermark for Toyota from an engineering standpoint in the 60s. So, uh, since concept car, I mean, you said already not in a comment, but I'm going to ask you anyway. I mean, uh, concept cars in general seem to be coming closer to production cars. And, like, uh, I guess... This is, without saying anything, this is something that Toyota obviously is thinking of doing, right? Uh, well, I don't know if they're obviously thinking of doing it. I think it's not, you don't never want to say never that it won't lead to something, but certainly the expression of this uh, would indicate that, uh, you know, Toyota is appreciates the sports car and uh, maybe doing something with it, but certainly not something we can talk about now. Yeah, absolutely. And this car, where was this car designed? This car was designed by the design team at Kelty Design Research in Newport Beach. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, it, it brings a lot of, uh, as you were saying, all the history and all that, but also a lot of modern things, I would say. Right? Oh, yeah. It's got, well, it's got a lot of modern cues. I mean, in its kind of layout, front engine, rear-wheel drive. It's, it's a true sports car. The cockpit's really far back in the, in the, in the chassis. Uh, it's, it's a very track-focused, very purpose-focused driver's car at T1 in, in, in concept. Oh, excellent. I mean... Uh Well, I, I hope that we could like turn uh, the clock forward uh, like a couple of years and well, see what, where we were. Well, in the near term, if you want to drive it, it'll be available uh, to play on a, a PlayStation 3, Gran Turismo 6, starting tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, so that, that'd be a little that's bit a of a start. That's you as a downloadable <laughs> element, but uh, we'll stay tuned a few years. You never know what could happen. Excellent. And what else is uh, new for Toyota here at the, the Detroit Auto Show? Well, we've also got our fuel cell vehicle, uh, which we've showed in, in uh, Japan, and uh, you know, obviously the full lineup, but This is our primary statement here, yeah, FT1. And I, and I can tell by the, the amount of people coming by, even uh, hours after the press conference. It's been pretty busy. It's gotten generated a lot of buzz, yes. Well, thank you very much, Mo, no and problem, uh, see you soon. Right on. Thank you. Thanks. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network, vamos a hablar con Ricky Lau de Hyundai sobre la nueva generación del Genesis, el auto de super lujo del fabricante coreano, y con Julián Argüelles de BMW sobre las novedades que ha presentado el fabricante alemán con las nuevas generaciones del M3 y el M4 aquí en Detroit.